So my name is Justin Gover. I'm Chief Executive Officer of GW Pharmaceuticals. Well, the highlights for this meeting are most certainly the results of the two phase three placebo-controlled trials, the first in uh, Dravet syndrome and the second in lennox gasto syndrome. And it's been exciting to be able to reveal data which shows not only the primary endpoint showing strong efficacy compared with placebo, but a number of secondary efficacy endpoints also being statistically significantly better than placebo and a, with a relatively well-tolerated adverse event profile. This program has always been one of great interest to clinicians, but I think there's real excitement that na we now have the high quality placebo controlled scientific data that allows us to move forward with the prospect of an FDA submission and making this drug available so that physicians can at last be able to prescribe it. So with the phase three data now in hand, we expect to submit a new drug application to the FDA around the end of the first half of 2017. Um, and uh, all is going to plan with respect to that submission, which includes not only the phase three studies that we're presenting at this meeting, but a range of other clinical and preclinical studies. Uh, assuming all goes well, uh, we would expect to be able to launch this product in early 2018. Initially, we're seeking approval for Epidiolex in two orphan childhood onset epilepsies. The first is Dravet syndrome, and the second is lennox gasto syndrome, and we're expecting approval of both indications to occur at the same time. The regulatory hurdle really from this point forward is the FDA approval. Um, we have a robust submission package, so are therefore submitting relatively confident that we can address any questions and concerns from the FDA. Once we do obtain FDA approval, Epidiolex has to be rescheduled by the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. That is a process which should take up to 90 days after the FDA approved the drug. Well, we hope and expect to be able to continue to develop Epidiolex in other forms of childhood onset epilepsy. We have a phase three clinical trial in tuberous sclerosis complex. That is ongoing and will be enrolling patients in 2017. And we have a fourth indication, which we're just starting the development program for, which is infantile spasms. There may be in other indications in the future as well, but the plan most certainly is not to stop research at Dravet and lennox gasto syndromes, but to continue to find opportunities to uh, understand and potentially develop new indications for epidiolex.